What if I told you that a hidden world of ice and magic could hold the key to a powerful lesson about love and friendship? Welcome to the Ice Palace, a frozen wonderland, a captivating sleep story that takes you on a thrilling adventure alongside a young princess and her companions as they uncover the secrets of a frozen kingdom. Through their journey, they will not only learn valuable lessons about courage, friendship, and love, but also bring warmth and harmony to the hearts of those around them. In the enchanting land of Andaris, nestled between towering mountains and lush forests, lay the kingdom of Solara. This prosperous realm was known for its rolling hills, colorful meadows, and sun-kissed days. At the heart of Solara stood a magnificent castle where the young Princess Elara resided. She was the beloved daughter of King Adrian and Queen Lysandra, who ruled the kingdom with wisdom and grace. Elara was a vibrant and spirited girl, with bright blue eyes that sparkled like sapphires and golden hair that cascaded down her shoulders. She had a warm and gentle demeanor that endeared her to the people of Solara. Her kind heart and boundless curiosity led her to explore the world beyond the castle walls, often sneaking away from her royal duties to embark on adventures. The forests and mountains surrounding Solara were a treasure trove of natural wonders, teeming with life and beauty. Elara would spend her days wandering through the dense woods, listening to the songs of birds and discovering the secrets of the forest. She would often climb the mountains, reveling in the breathtaking views of her kingdom from their peaks. Through these experiences, Alara found solace and peace away from the pressures of her royal life. Alara's adventurous spirit was accompanied by a fierce desire to protect her kingdom and its people. This led her to learn various skills, such as archery and horseback riding. She would often practice with the knights, honing her abilities and impressing those around her with her determination and resilience. Her closest companions were a group of loyal friends she met during her escapades. There was the wise and gentle Mira, a skilled healer who shared Alara's love for nature, the brave and resourceful Kale, a talented swordsman with a sharp wit, and the kind and loyal Lila, a gifted musician who could soothe the most restless of souls with her melodies. Together, Alara and her friends would embark on thrilling adventures, exploring the hidden corners of Andorus and uncovering its many secrets. Through their escapades, they formed unbreakable bonds, and Alara learned the value of friendship, courage, and love. Little did she know that these experiences would soon prepare her for a life-changing journey, one that would lead her to a frozen wonderland and the heart of a mysterious ice palace. On a quiet afternoon, Elara found herself wandering through the castle, seeking refuge from her mundane royal duties. Her curiosity led her to her father's study, a dimly lit chamber filled with shelves of ancient scrolls, dusty tomes, and precious artifacts. As she perused the room, her eyes fell upon an ornate wooden box tucked away in a hidden corner. Unable to resist the allure of the mysterious box, Alara carefully opened it and found an ancient tattered map inside. The parchment was brittle, its edges frayed, and covered in cryptic symbols and intricate drawings. The map depicted the vast land of Andorus, with the ice tooth mountains dominating the northern reaches. A particular spot within the mountains was marked with a peculiar symbol that caught Elara's attention, a spiraling snowflake with a radiant heart. Elara remembered her father's warnings about the Ice Tooth Mountains, a place of danger and mystery where few dared to venture. Stories of treacherous landscapes and fearsome creatures had been passed down through generations, and the people of Solara were taught to avoid the mountains at all costs. But Elara's adventurous spirit could not be tamed. The thrill of unearthing a hidden secret and the allure of the unknown proved too enticing. 
she decided to follow the map, despite her father's warnings and the potential dangers that lay ahead. As the thought of the adventure stirred her heart, she resolved to assemble a small group of her most loyal and trusted friends to accompany her on the journey. Over the next few days, Alara meticulously studied the map and prepared for the journey. She gathered warm clothing, sturdy boots, and ample provisions to face the harsh elements of the Ice Tooth Mountains. She also ensured that her friends, Mira, Kale, and Lila, were well equipped and ready for the challenges that awaited them. With her heart racing and a sense of anticipation coursing through her veins, Elara and her friends set off towards the Ice Tooth Mountains. As they embarked on their quest, they knew that they were about to venture into uncharted territory, a land of mystery and peril. But the promise of adventure and the prospect of uncovering the truth behind the ancient map were impossible to resist. After traversing treacherous mountain paths and enduring bone-chilling winds, Alara and her companions finally reached the heart of the Ice Tooth Mountains. The biting cold was relentless, and the snow-covered landscape stretched endlessly before them. The travelers were weary, their bodies aching from the arduous journey, but their spirits were lifted by the anticipation of uncovering the secret hidden within the mountains. As they crested a steep ridge, they were met with a sight beyond their wildest dreams. Nestled within a pristine valley, a magnificent palace made entirely of ice stood proudly against the mountain backdrop. The palace's towering spires and intricate architecture shimmered under the pale moonlight, casting a mesmerizing glow that illuminated the surrounding snow. The sight was both breathtaking and terrifying, a testament to the power of nature and the magic that lay hidden in the Ice Tooth Mountains. With a mixture of awe and trepidation, Alara and her friends descended into the valley, their footprints leaving a trail of dark imprints in the pristine snow. As they approached the ice palace, the once still and silent structure seemed to come to life, as if it had been waiting for their arrival. The ice walls glowed with an ethereal light, revealing enchanting patterns and scenes of a magical world hidden within its frozen depths. Upon reaching the palace gates, the group marveled at the exquisite craftsmanship of the entrance. Two massive ice doors stood before them, adorned with elaborate carvings of frosty beasts and mythical beings. The doors swung open, as if welcoming the weary travelers into the magical realm that lay within the palace walls. Ilara and her companions stepped cautiously over the threshold, their breaths visible in the frigid air. The interior of the ice palace was a wonderland of frozen beauty. Grand ice chandeliers hung from the high ceilings, casting a soft, otherworldly light across the chambers. Graceful ice sculptures adorned the hallways, depicting elegant figures of mythical creatures and legendary heroes. The atmosphere inside the palace was both enchanting and eerie, with whispers of magic and ancient power echoing through the crystalline halls. Alara could feel her heart pounding in her chest as she and her friends ventured deeper into the ice palace, eager to unravel the mysteries that lay within and discover the true nature of the magical world hidden behind its walls. As Alara and her companions ventured further into the Ice Palace, they entered a grand throne room where a breathtaking sight awaited them. At the far end of the room, upon an elegant throne carved from ice, sat a solitary figure, the Ice Queen, Isadora. Her beauty was as striking as the palace itself, with long flowing silver hair and eyes the color of the purest ice. Her regal gown, fashioned from the finest frost and snowflakes, shimmered with every delicate movement. Isadora appeared to be deep in thought, her frost-kissed skin glowing faintly in the dim light. As Alara approached, the Ice Queen lifted her gaze, 
her eyes meeting Alara's with a mixture of curiosity and caution. There was an unmistakable sadness in Isadora's eyes, a loneliness that seemed to echo through the heart of the ice palace itself. Alara hesitated for a moment, unsure of how to proceed, but as she stood before the Ice Queen, she felt a sudden warmth within her, a deep sense of purpose that seemed to radiate from her very soul. It was then that she understood. She had been chosen to help Isadora break the terrible curse that had turned her heart to ice. As Alara spoke with Isadora, she learned of the Queen's tragic past. Once, Isadora had been a kind and loving ruler, her heart filled with warmth and compassion, but a wicked sorcerer, envious of her power and beauty, had cast a curse upon her, condemning her heart to eternal ice. This curse had transformed her into the Ice Queen and caused the once vibrant valley to become a frozen wasteland. Despite the immense burden she carried, Isadora retained a glimmer of hope within her icy heart. She sensed that Alara possessed the strength and purity of spirit needed to break the curse and free her heart from its frozen prison. Alara, filled with determination and empathy, vowed to help Isadora reclaim her true self and restore the Ice Palace and its surroundings to their former glory. Together with her companions, Alara embarked on a perilous quest to gather the necessary components to forge a powerful counterspell that would break the curse. They faced formidable challenges and encountered treacherous foes along the way. Yet, with each obstacle they overcame, Alara's resolve only grew stronger. Her conviction that love and friendship would ultimately prevail unwavering in the face of darkness. To break the curse that held Isadora in its icy grip, Alara and her friends had to embark on a treacherous journey through the frozen wasteland surrounding the Ice Palace. The ancient map they had discovered earlier revealed the locations of three mystical artifacts, each crucial to forging the counterspell that would break the curse. The trials that awaited them would test the limits of their courage, strength, and friendship. The first challenge led them to a labyrinth of frozen tunnels, hidden deep beneath the Ice Tooth Mountains. The entrance to the labyrinth was guarded by a fearsome ice golem, its body made of jagged ice and its eyes glowing with an eerie blue light. With Mira's knowledge of ancient incantations and Kale's expert swordsmanship, they managed to defeat the golem and gain access to the hidden tunnels. Inside the labyrinth, they encountered countless dangers, treacherous ice formations, slippery paths, and hidden traps that threatened to impede their progress at every turn. Despite the risks, Alara and her friends worked together to navigate the maze, relying on Lila's keen intuition and their unwavering trust in one another. At the heart of the labyrinth, they discovered the first artifact, a radiant gemstone imbued with the essence of sunlight. Their next challenge brought them face to face with a race of towering ice giants that inhabited a secluded valley within the frozen wasteland. These formidable beings wielded enormous ice hammers and possessed immense strength, but they also held a deep respect for honor and tradition. Ilara and her companions demonstrating their courage and resolve, managed to negotiate with the ice giants and obtain the second artifact, a vial of pure, enchanted water from the giant's sacred spring. The final and most dangerous challenge awaited them at the peak of the highest mountain in the Ice Tooth Range, the lair of a fearsome ice dragon. The dragon, an ancient and powerful creature, was the guardian of the last artifact a crystal shard that contained the essence of the northern winds. Elara and her friends ascended the treacherous slopes, braving blizzards and avalanches, until they finally stood before the colossal beast. The battle with the ice dragon was fierce and terrifying, as the creature unleashed its frigid breath and razor-sharp claws upon the intruders. 
With each attack, Ilara discovered new strengths within herself, her resilience, her determination, and her unwavering belief in the power of love and friendship. Alongside her friends, they fought bravely, and with a final desperate effort, they managed to subdue the ice dragon and secure the final artifact. With all three artifacts in their possession, Elara and her companions returned to the Ice Palace. Through their harrowing journey, they had forged unbreakable bonds and uncovered the depths of their own inner strength. They now stood ready to face the final challenge, breaking the curse that had ensnared Isadora and returning warmth and life to the heart of the Ice Tooth Mountains. In the heart of the Ice Palace, Elara and her companions stood before Isadora, who was still in the icy grip of the sorcerer's curse. Though the queen's regal beauty remained, her eyes were tinged with sadness and desperation, longing for the warmth and love she had lost. Elara knew that the time had come to break the curse and restore Isadora to her true self. With the three mystical artifacts in hand, Alara began the process of forging the counterspell that would shatter the curse's hold on the Ice Queen. Mira, Kale, and Lila lent their strength and support, each playing a vital role in the intricate ritual. As they worked, the power of the artifacts resonated through the air, filling the palace with a warm, golden light. As the counterspell neared completion, Elara approached Isadora her heart filled with compassion and determination. She knew that the key to breaking the curse was not just in the power of the artifacts, but in the strength of the bonds she had forged with her friends and the love that had grown within her heart throughout their journey. Elara locked eyes with the Ice Queen and spoke words of love, encouragement, and hope. She shared stories of the challenges they had faced and the unbreakable friendships they had formed, emphasizing the power that love and compassion held over darkness and despair. As Alara's words washed over her, Isadora felt the first stirrings of warmth within her frozen heart. The ice that had encased her soul for so long began to crack and melt away, as if the sun itself had reached out and touched her. The love and friendship that Alara and her companions had cultivated, combined with the power of the artifacts, proved to be stronger than the curse that had ensnared her. With each passing moment, the ice within Isadora's heart receded further, until it was finally gone. The transformation was miraculous, as the once frosty queen radiated with warmth and love, her true self restored. Tears of gratitude and relief filled her eyes, and she embraced Alara, thanking her for her unwavering faith and love. As the curse was broken, the ice palace and the surrounding wasteland began to transform. The frigid air grew warmer, and the icy walls of the palace softened, revealing their true, vibrant colors. Life returned to the once frozen valley as flowers bloomed and the laughter of reunited loved ones echoed through the air. With the curse lifted, the ice palace and the once frozen wasteland underwent a wondrous transformation. As the ice slowly melted away, the palace revealed its true enchanting beauty. Delicate crystalline structures adorned with shimmering jewels, reflecting the warm sunlight that bathed the valley. The harsh, barren landscape outside the palace transformed into lush, verdant fields, with vibrant flowers and greenery spreading as far as the eye could see. The once frozen land was teeming with life, as animals and magical creatures emerged from their icy slumber, their songs and calls filling the air with newfound joy. The people who had been trapped within the curse's grasp rejoiced, celebrating their freedom and the return of warmth and love to their lives. Alara and Isadora, now united by their shared experience and the deep bond they had forged, decided to form an alliance between their kingdoms. 
They work together to establish trade routes and cultural exchanges, bringing prosperity and fostering understanding between their people. This new alliance ushered in a golden era of peace and unity for the land of Andaris, as the kingdoms of Solara and the once frozen realm flourished side by side. As the time came for Alara and her friends to return to Solara, they said their heartfelt goodbyes to Isadora and the people they had come to know and love during their incredible journey. Isadora, forever grateful for the love and friendship that had saved her, vowed to maintain the alliance and ensure that the spirit of unity and harmony would endure for generations to come. As Alara and her companions rode off into the horizon, their hearts filled with the memories of the adventure they had shared. They knew that they had not only saved the Ice Queen and her kingdom, but had also discovered a world of wonder that would forever live in their hearts. The journey had taught them invaluable lessons about courage, friendship, and the power of love. Lessons that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. And so, Alara returned to her kingdom, forever changed by her experiences in the Ice Palace and the friendships she had forged. The spirit of adventure that had ignited her quest continued to burn brightly within her, inspiring her to seek out new experiences and explore the vast, mysterious world that lay beyond the borders of Solara. The legacy of her journey lived on, a testament to the transformative power of love and the indomitable strength of the human spirit.